Hi everyone, my name is Irdina. Today, our group is going to present our Probability and Statistical Data Analysis Project 1, which is a study on how students from School of Computing spend their leisure time. Students often do their assignments in the last minute, so our group would like to know what are the factors behind this issue. To find out about that, we first have to know which activities do the students actually do during that leisure time. To carry out these studies, we chose a sample of 80 students from School of Computing from the population of University Technology Malaysia, Johor Bahru. And then, we collected primary data from them by distributing a survey using Google Form. From the data, we get the results and then by analyzing the results by using different kinds of graphs, we get to know which activities do the students love to do the most during their leisure time. In our sample, there are 40 female students and 40 male students, which mean both carry a percentage of 50% each, just like this pie chart. In our sample, there are 53 students from year 1, 15 students from year 2, 8 students from year 3, and there are only 4 students from year 4 who answered the survey. Next, by categorizing our sample based on their courses, we find out that 42% of the students are from SECJ course, 25% of the students are from SECP course, 14% of the students are from SECR course, 12% of the students are from SECV course, and finally, 6% of the students are from SECV course, just like this pie chart. From the survey, we find out that most of the students, which is 32 students, have an average of 1 to 4 hours of leisure time in a week. And then by calculating the mean, we get that on average, students from School of Computing have an average of 6.25 or 6 hours and 15 minutes of leisure time in a week. We can see that year 1 has the highest leisure time in a week with mean 6.77 hours, while the lowest leisure time in a week is year 4 with mean 4.0 hours. In my opinion, year 4 has the lowest leisure time in a week because they have to do final year project and maybe some of them has to do the industrial training. For time spent doing leisure activities, majority of the students spend 60 minutes doing the leisure activities. The mean value for time spent is 141 minutes. We can see that the difference between the mean and the majority students spend their time. This is because some students answer 360 minutes for doing leisure activities. So we consider this as an outlier. So the mean value will be affected because there is an addition of an outlier. For money spent for leisure activity, majority of the students spend between 0 to 40 minutes for doing their leisure activities. But uh, since the value above 70 is an outlier, so the mean cannot be used to describe this simple. The best to describe this data is median, which is 18.50. For money spent, this is gender. We can see that the median for the female is a bit higher than male. This indicates that the female are more likely to spend more money compared than male for number of people to spend their leisure time with. Majority of the students spend their time with 0 to 3 people and the mean for the graph is 2 which means the average people spend their time is with 2 people. Level of likeliness to do sport versus course. For course, SECB, SECR and SECV, the graph is skewed to the right which means the majority of students from those courses are less likely to do sport while the students for course SECG and SECP are more likely to do sport since it has the highest value of mean which is 2.57 and 2.25 respectively. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Alice. Okay, so this is the graph for the table of likeliness to go on food hunting versus gender. So as you can see, the median uh, for both graphs is the same, but um, the mean for female is higher. So we can see that female are more likely to go on food hunting during the leisure time. This is because uh, according to psychology, female have higher urge to eat compared to them. So this is for the level of likeliness to go shopping versus gender. So we can see that from the bar chart, female are more likely to go shopping on their leisure time. And the mean for female is also higher, which is 2.85. Okay, because according to psychology, female uh, tends to feel the need to grab the best deal and show it off to other people, whereas males do The level of likeliness to be tidy up personal things versus gender, we can see that the median for male and female are the same, but the, but the interquartile for, inter range for female is lesser, which uh, shows that uh, the values for female are less dispersed, so we can see that female are more likely to tidy up personal things. This is because there are more stigma around the topic of cleanliness, cleanliness around females. Okay, so this is for the level and level of likeliness to do education activities for this year. As you can see from the graph, uh, year three recorded the highest median, which is four, and the lowest is year two with only two, the median. So we can say that year three has the highest uh, likeliness to do education activities uh, compared to the other years. This is because uh, they have uh, more workload compared. Okay, so this is for the level of likeliness to participate in social activities for gender. So we can we can say that uh, female are more likely to participate in social activities because the median for female is higher compared to male is because according to psychology, female are more empathy. This is for the level of readiness to watch movies or dramas versus year. We can see that year 4 have the lowest
this median, which is two while uh, year one, year two, year three have the have higher median. So we can say that uh, year one and year two and year three are more likely to watch dramas uh, compared to year four. This is because maybe year four are more busy with their internship and their final year project. Thank you. Hi, I'm Reza Sabrina. I will continue to present the last part of this project, the red bar on the ground, which represents not at all skill by female is slower than men. Therefore, I can conclude that female tend to visit their family or friend during their free time compared to men. Based on the graph, all four graphs are skewed to the left and the median value are close. This indicates that generally, all students really love to surf internet during their free time. From the graph, all students from different courses has the highest value or not at all likely scale. Roughly, this indicates that most of students do not usually visit art gallery or museum during their leisure time. Based on the graph of likeliness to go through versus year of study, year two student recorded the biggest value of median, while the others score the same value which is two. This indicates that year two students are most likely to go for a trip during their leisure time compared to other year. All the graphs of each year are skewed to the left. This indicates that students are very likely to spend their leisure time sleeping or resting. From this survey, we can know that most of students has their leisure time between 0 to 8 hours per week. Students from year 1 has the highest average leisure time a week, which roughly 7 hours, and year 4 has the lowest, which is 4 hours. The result is different between each year because I believe each year has their own respective project or work has to complete. In conclusion, everything depends on how good the student manage their time, especially between education and entertainment. That's all from our group. Thank you.